Hey guys, welcome back to 30 days of Laravel. Today is the 10th day, if I'm not mistaken, and we are going to talk about Laravel Blade components. We have this page here with a list of posts, and um, what most people know is Blade Inklet, so we can use partials, partial views. For instance, we have this list here, and uh, when you have a com you know, something well designed, you usually have lots of fields in each list item. And one good practice is to encapsulate this in components into smaller views. For instance, what I would do is I would say include, this is blade syntax to include a new template. And I would say include and I would say post, right? To go into the post folder, partials. And then I would say, I don't know, like post item, something like this. And I would create this view. So partials, post item. And I would just put that there, like this. And if I refresh it, it still works. Now this, this works fine, but Laravel has a new syntax which uh, gives you a little bit more control, especially when you are working with uh, Tailwind, when you have lots of Tailwind components. So uh, you're going to find better examples in the, the email I sent you than in this video. But for instance, we have this include, right? Now you could also do this with blade components. Um, they are similar to includes to partials, but you have a little bit more control over them. And you have two types of components. You have regular components, which are composed of a view and a class, and you have anonymous components, which are just, uh, just views. We are going to talk about anonymous components, and you're going to see more about uh, normal components on the email. But for instance, here we have this post item, right? Let me comment this out. So if we refresh this, we get nothing. And um, to create a component, you're just going to views components, and you can create a new file here. So I'm going to call it, um, let's do post item, something like this, dot blade.php. To invoke a blade component, you just have to create an HTML tag prepended by X and the name, the X dash and the name of the component. So in this case, X dash post item, and then you can close it. So let's refresh it, nothing here. Let's type something and we start to get something here. If we go into post item, let's copy it and we can paste it here. Uh, undefined variable post. So we don't have access to the variable. This is kind of in another scope. It's not in the scope, so we don't have access to this variable. We need to pass it as an argument. So we could say post, post. Now this won't work. And the reason is when we were passing literal, so if we want to actually pass in the object, here we are simply passing a string. If you want to pass in the object, you have to prepend it with this double dot thing that I don't know the name in English, but this is what you gotta do. Now let's try, and now we have uh, the links. So we are passing the variable. Now you could also pass other parameters and um, you can actually have defaults. For instance, um, let's say something like, we want to determine if um, the color of the, the link, I don't know, something like this. So we can say color and we can say red. So if we go here and let's go here and add a style, color, equals color, like this. You can see that it's red, right? Well, let's say uh, you only have this in certain components. Let's say you have this in two places and one of them you want to have a color and on the other it just wants to use the diff. If you were to remove this, it is going to fail. So if you want to have defaults, you can do add props and pass in an array. So you can say color and you can pass in the default. So you want the default color, which is red, right? And uh, now we are getting an undefined variable. That's because we are explicitly defining the prop. So we can just say that we want a color prop and we also want a post prop. And now it all works. 
and if I want to change the default to blue, it also works. So if I want to add a color, I can just say red. And if I want to remove it, it uses the default. This is very, very useful. With Tailwind, I have a video about this and I'm going to link it on the article. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.